Hello, hello, Kami here and today we are taking a little break from all the Lotus Insanity. If you haven't yet seen my post on the community tab, I was talking about finding an old game from around the same time those Lotus games were recorded. Basically, this is all from one archive. I released a teaser for it 5 years ago, but that was before I realized something. This game was pretty unique, but unfortunately most of its uniqueness was lost to a faulty recording, so I decided against releasing it back in the day. It lasted over 2 hours and this 30 minute excerpt is the only thing I was able to recover. It's a damn shame, but it's still a valuable piece that has some entertainment value to it. Trigger warning though, it starts abruptly and ends, you guessed it, abruptly as well. But it may as well be one of the most intense Dragon vs Serpent games, so let's see it. But uh, since I lost the original footage, I'm gonna play this teaser in this video. You're not gonna see the moments shown in it in this video, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that, but let's kick it. And just like this, we are instantly thrown into the heat of the battle. As you see, I'm controlling around 60% of the map and the Serpent player is actually defending against me, because it's already a long stage, it's been hours since the beginning of this game and that means I, as a dragon, have really advanced in my technologies. So. All I'm doing right now is pressuring the Serpent player, who is actually really successful at defending against my attacks. I'm camping near the towers, in the middle, because if I try to fight him in the open without any towers, he has huge chances of just basically steamrolling me. He has heroes, he has horses, he has cannoneers, he got everything to kill me in the open. And my army, as you see, only consists of archers and healers, who are all first tier units and they don't have many hit points and uh, resistances. But they deal nice damage and healers in particular are one of the best in the game. I have 
of focus. Arrows ready. Here I'm trying to burn the Necromancer because Necromancer is weak to fire and I'm actually successful at it. Well, 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 would you look at that? Don't remember when the last time was when I burnt a Necromancer just like that. Pretty epic. I'm trying to pressure him with Ara, but uh, it's just... Uh, it's a poor attempt because I can't really deal a lot of damage because I don't have many Yam points. And uh, the Atama's 30% boost doesn't help much. But my archers with fire arrows, look at them. They just annihilate all the Zen Masters. Fun fact, actually. A lot of Zen Masters in Battle Rooms are weak to fire damage. That's one of the balance systems that was done for Battle Rooms. So, as you know, the fire doesn't really deal a lot of damage to normal units, but it does a lot of damage to Zen Masters, who are late game units. So, yeah. Spotted a ninja there. The path is the way. He sends a ninja every time to see if my dragon fire is charged. So he knows when to attack, how to split his army, not to... not to die in one sitting, not to die in one press of a button from me. So, really smart plays going on here. As you see, I'm uh, another ninja coming, but he hit the water and <laughs> ran straight through the middle, so it was easy to spot him. So, it was a bad ninja, unprofessional. So he dies just like that. As you see, I'm splitting my army here. I got melee units on 5, Samurais, Samurai and Monks. I called Garin just to summon horses for my geishas. That's the only thing he's useful for. Even when he recovers stamina like a freaking old man with asthma. Nice shots from him, he tried to take Ara down because Ara is weak to blunt damage and cannoneers, you know, they deal huge blunt damage. So he nearly got her, but wasn't as successful as my archers with fire arrows against his Zen Masters. He has quite a lot of cannoneers and that's because, oh wow. Nice push from me. Cannoneers are weak to blunt as well, so horses are one of the best weapons against them. There's a reason he is making cannoneers though. That's to not die to dragon fire easily. However, if I used flesh powder from Kabuki, he would die anyway. That steam notification wasn't yours. Don't worry about it. <laughs> So, he has cannoneers and horset geishas. That's a combination that doesn't die to dragon fire. They survive, they can survive it, and geishas can then outheal everyone. Utaro coming. He hit me quite well. Going with the Samurai to gather some Yam points. He has quite a lot of Geishas and his whole base is just... It's full of Peasant Huts, so as you know, the default Battle Realms has a... Peasant Huts in Battle Realms 
as of Battle Rams Winter of the Wolf 150Q, and it's the way it's always been. The huts really boost the peasant production. So peasants come out faster if you have a lot of huts, and there's no cap on it. Which means it's kinda bugged. Because the cap is only limited to the number to the overall number of buildings you can have, which is 50. Sending more samurai just to get that sweet dragon fire. And scouting his army. You see, if I didn't have any towers, he would kill me in he would kill me real fast. Just tramples from those geishas and half of my army would be dead. Now I have points for Dragonfire though, so that means I can actually push. Dragonfire is charged, so I have it prepared. Yes, here I'm making a Kabuki to use Flash Powder to weaken his resistance, so the Dragonfire is more effective. Scouting with Ara to see where I should attack. Splitting my army, seemingly. As I understand, this is the Burning Squad. So I'm gonna go with just these archers to go and uh, burn some of his buildings. In this case, it's the tower. This should be enough and it should be burning now, and I can also take this Shinja most likely. Attacking him with Geisha so he runs to me, but he controlled him so he ran back. Even though I have Dragonfire and even though I have healers and everything, his army is still dangerous, and it's not gonna die in one sitting. Unless I'm like really smart with my attack. Which is probably... <laughs> it's not gonna be the case. Uh, towers, his towers pose a danger. They weaken my army quite a lot. So that means easier death for them. And my army is already weak, so <laughs> it couldn't be any weaker at this point, really. Focused and steady. So I have archers, which are ranged units, then I have healers, uh, and also I have healers on horses, which means I can use them as a really dangerous lethal weapon. I also have melee units, in face of samurai and monks, as well as flesh powder from Kabuki to weaken the army. So the strategy goes like this. Spot at a ninja there, using tower to attack him. He's sneaky, he hid behind the hut. But I see him, and I'm gonna attack him. Some police chase scene here. <laughs> and Aras putting an end to it. That's another dead ninja. As I was saying, the strategy goes as follows. The melee squad goes front face, goes in front, and they are gonna face the enemy. They are gonna distract them, they are gonna face all the shots. Uh, so after that, archers come and possibly try to burn the towers down. Then Dragonfire comes around the same time, and I'm gonna be trying to finish him with uh, the horses and archers. At least that's what is going on from my head, even right now. This was like five years ago, but the tactics haven't really changed. I still think the same. 
That said, burn tower there. But attacking that hill would be a suicide still, because he has a lot of army and can always counter me. Really nice melee squad right there. I got all I need to kind of take him down, at least in my mind. He's rebuilding the tower, of course. But here I am, here I go. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. It's time to attack. Caught a mine right there. Lost some samurai. I should just take the heal now. It's I'm not sure why I'm not moving my whole army, but I guess I really suffer from micro control here. Vetkin and Utaro coming. Bad flash powder from me. Why are my monks then trancing? Not sure I should use with... Yes, yes, Dragonfire, Dragonfire. I didn't bind it to Hotkey, which is bad, but it still is used very nicely. But he hit some of his geishas on horses. What is this? I'm caught off guard. I completely didn't expect this. And of course my archers are lagging behind and I'm unable to finish the horses. And his horses trample my archers, and archers are weak as shit, so they die real fast. This is bad for me, but I keep fighting, I keep trying to take him down, but his geisha just out heal the damage I deal, and uh, the archers are distracted in melee by all the other units. I have to retreat. And this could be the winning moment, but he really cut me off guard with those geishas. I should have saved my dragon fire until those geishas came. That's really bad. Yeah, here, here I'm saying that I really like this game because uh, it was fascinating to play against him because I wasn't able to take him down and that was a real challenge and I really enjoyed it. I don't know who Jay is though, it looked like some smurf to be honest. So uh, yeah, I didn't care at that point because it was a really great player. And it was really funny to play because before those 1v1s I remember playing as Dragon and uh, most of the Serpent players I played against they would just, you know, then it gets to the long game stage, all Serpent players just die. But this player just kept hanging on. I was I was like, why he no die? When's he gonna die? God damn it. And he never freaking did. He never died. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but so didn't I. Double spoiler alert. And it's, it could be the winning moment, but it just didn't happen. I lost my units, he lost his units, and we are back to square zero, meaning we are gathering army again for another clash. The ultimate mastermind strategy here would be sending as many samurais as I can to his base to get 6 yen points, to have 2 dragon fires. So 6 yen points and 8 samurai just to get 2 dragon fires. In that case, uh, I could avoid something like that happening in the future. I could dragon fire his main army and I could then dragon fire his backup army. And then he would have no chance to oppose me. Another ninja died there, he still tries to scout me. Notice how this time he's scouting the hill at my base. Because uh, he is planning to attack me still, because that's what he has to do. He has to attack me and this is what he's going for right now. But I see it because I sent a samurai there. 
so I am sort of prepared. Looks like he decided against it. But I am prepared, I am in full combat mode. I'm still sending Samurai, yes, because I have to get those Yang points. Actually, it would be really nice to have Whirling Spear, so Spearman's Battle Gear from the Fireworks Factory. That would really help me with horses, Geishas on horses, and uh, it would just be nice to have. But I'm not making them, for some reason. I guess it's fine. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use them in this excerpt. I have two Kabuki the Flash Powder though, just in case, which is great. Flash Powder from Kabuki acts also like smoke, meaning it abstracts the vision of your enemies. And it also resets their behavior, as far as I remember. Which is always useful and catches many people off guard because they uh, sometimes fail at micro. And micro control, as you know it, really is one of the key points in the competitive mode of battle runs. Garin calling horses. As you see, I left a monk there just so he could intercept any ninjas coming forward, coming there. And I see his army suspiciously standing on top of the map and in the combat stance, meaning they are selected by him. So he really is preparing for a push. And I understand this. Here he comes, here he comes. Let's go, flash powder, stopping him. Don't know why I used it twice, it's, it doesn't stack, nothing happens. My geishas really help me out, but then I lose a lot of them, which is really bad. His geishas are still intact, a lot of my army just idling there because I didn't order it to attack. Which is a huge mistake and could really cost me a loss. This looks really bad, what should I do? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna defend this? He's smoking me, he has healers, he, heal he got Zen Masters. But I'm standing my ground. I got healers as well. I got monks. My keep is nearby. And he is retreating. He is retreating. Because monks really kill all of his cannoneers. And monks are sturdy guys. They are great. They deal some damage. Especially when you have yang points. And they don't die as easily. So that's what's left of his army now. And it means I have to attack now. And I should go right to his base right now. I should go and attack. I have Yen points, I have Samurai to use for Dragonfire. I should go right now. This is the winning moment. Am I gonna do this? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I should go. Why am I not going? No, call me from the past. Why are you not going? Why are you standing? I guess uh, he caught me off guard as well. Again. By his attack. So I kind of panicked and decided I should hunker down and <laughs> turtle a little more. This is a damn shame because I should just go and attack him right now and I could have really solid chances of winning. This is like, it's a huge mistake, why am I not attacking right now? I got the Samurai, I got the Yam points, I could use another Dragonfire. He doesn't have a lot of army and I lose my Ara here. What? What is going on? This is killing me inside. I feel physical pain. Oh no. Don't be like me. If you decide to play Dragon.
Oh no. <laughs> well, mistakes happen. I panicked a little, I decided not to attack. And uh, it costs us another <laughs> 30 minutes of the game. I'm just getting my army thinking that I should do one push to make it straight, to make it solid. So he doesn't have any chance of recovery, so yeah. There we go, finally I'm getting that dragon fire. My healers don't have horses and uh, I guess that's also something that scares me. They are really weak without horses, they die really easily unless you micro them like crazy. Garen helps with horses a little, there's also one untamed horse and I'm gonna get it. But this weight, it just, it shouldn't be here. I shouldn't... Right the knight defended against his army there on that hill. I should have just counter-attacked instantly. I don't know why I didn't do that. It's a mistake. It's a huge mistake. Probably the worst mistake of this match. Yeah, it's basically the same. I'm preparing the same stuff. To do the same push. So, this is how the games between players can drag. <laughs> they may last hours. And trust me, the longer it goes, the more frustrated you become. <laughs> I remember our team games back in the day going for as long as like four or five hours it was crazy and i remember in particular it was a lotus game so you know lotus games are those that can have the highest chance of dragging So basically it all comes down to me getting army and attacking him, him defending and then trying to counter-attack me. That's the only way for me to win and that's the only way for him to win. So, as far as I understand now, those uh, those frames shown in the teaser trailer are not gonna be present in this excerpt, which is a shame. I actually I understand what happened now. I think I just deleted the the whole thing. That's kind of sad. So, those uh, frames, those. Uh, kind of excerpts that you see in the teaser five years ago those are exclusive so you are not gonna see them here I'm sorry it was such a nice game I should have shown the whole thing to you but I'm sorry I, I didn't save it so I'm only showing this now as a homage of course Unfair. to that As you will. game I sense your purpose okay certainly yes for the dragon on target the so as you see the same thing Gathering points for Dragonfire, because I spent some of them before. Gathering horses for Geishas. Preparing for that sweet final push.
He's sending spirit warriors. Spirit warriors are great. Great as raiding units. They can deal quite a lot of damage because, uh, you know, we deal magic damage and buildings don't have a resistance against magic damage. So we can output real damage. But if you see them, if you can spot them, they are not that dangerous. But if you can't spot them and they are sent, for example, to your rice to kill your peasants, you're gonna suffer some real damage. It could cost you some gains. But since you, you see, like, I'm controlling most of the map now and I have field of view. I have line of sight for this whole segment. I see everything that comes around. Nothing is unseen here. So he can't really sneak past. Stole the horse right under his nose. He could actually intercept it because, fun fact, then Garen calls horses, your enemies can just click on them and they're gonna... Then the horse is gonna stop and you or your enemies will be able to pick it up. Even further proof that Garen is useless as hell. <laughs> that Garen is a crappy Zen Master. Which is another shame because I really like his design and uh, stuff. Dragonfire ready, most of my army ready, there should be another final push real soon. This time I'm prepared for any geishas that can come up from the back of his base. But yeah, uh, unfortunately this excerpt is not as entertaining as the things shown in the teaser. And yeah, this is that stage where you mostly sit at your base and gather army to attack. This is when you have resources, you have towers, and uh, you have peasant huts which allow you to regenerate uh, peasants quickly and get a lot of units in uh, basically no time. Scouting with Ara. As you will. Seeing the same stuff, towers and cannoneers, and most likely geishas in the back, because his horses at his side kept disappearing, so he uses them either for resources or for geishas. Burning Shinja, but he has healers, so it's not gonna happen this time. He's also smoking me, so my archers deal less damage. And his cannoneers can take, mo take out my archers in no time. Because he also attacks from the hill, so the damage of cannoneers is amplified. As you see, he's trying to stay on the hill. And here I am attacking, making him use his Utaro, using dragon fire. Too soon, most likely too soon, but I don't see any geishas coming up. I'm not controlling a lot of my army here, I see geishas now. I immediately regret my decision of using the dragon fire because that means I'll have to go back again. And uh, you're not gonna see what happened next because it just crashed. <laughs> I'm so sorry.
<laughs> I basically showed you a turtle game and uh, uh, it, it was not really satisfying. Even now that I'm commenting on it, I'm not feeling satisfied with what happened here. <laughs> but well, don't worry about it, I have a lot more nice games in my storage. So you're gonna see some real nice games soon. Thank you for watching, as always, see you on the battlefield.